Hi, Jed from RA Fitness. Um, we're going to do video two today in our series of five videos where we're looking at our nutrient pyramid. Yesterday we touched on energy balance and thank you to everybody that chipped in and gave us some comments on the video. Um, there was some pretty in-depth stuff which really wasn't necessary yesterday, but hey-ho. Okay, so today we're going to look at macronutrients. So macronutrients are proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, and there is one more, and I'll give you that at the end. But we're not going to take this to the nth degree. If you already know a ton about nutrition, don't be a smart ass and start posting stuff because this isn't aimed at you. This is just for people that are a bit confused about all the information that's already out there, that they're just a bit lost in a minefield. So if you want to get in touch with me, private message me and I'll talk wax lyrical with you for as long as you want. Okay, so macronutrients, protein we'll go through first. Okay, protein. Protein is basically your building blocks. That's building blocks for muscle, and connective tissue, and there are some, it does some stuff with enzyme transportation, but we don't need to touch on that. We're not, we're not going there today. So protein, meat, fowl, fish, eggs, some dairy. So all these contain various amounts of protein, and again, we can start looking at the amino acid profile. We don't need to go that far today. Okay. So as well as our protein, we're going to look at our quantities. So again, this has been disputed, but there's research out there. You don't need huge, massive amounts of protein. You don't need one chicken breast per pound of body weight like some bodybuilders tried to do. Basically, somewhere between 1.2 and 1.8 um, grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. That's, I know that it's a pretty vague figure, but depending on what your physique goals are, where you are now, you're going to have to manipulate these, what I taught to you today. Okay, next one, carbohydrate. Okay, carbohydrate, it's our body's preferred fuel source. There are some people out there that talk about fat being a preferred fuel source. It does if you start going ketogenic. Again, that's up here, way down here at the moment. So, carbohydrate sources, bread, rice, oh yeah, bread, mm. rice, pasta, there are some fibrous carbs in veggies. Um, all these are gonna, your body likes, your body likes carbohydrates and we like to eat carbohydrate as well. That's why you can, they can that's why they're trying to make you uh, get rid of them out of your diet because you can quite simply we can overindulge on carbohydrate. Who doesn't like a bit of cake? I do. Okay. And then dietary fat. Um, I'll just go back to our carbohydrate, and now we're going to work this out later. So carbohydrate, again, we can start talking about grams per kilogram of body weight. It's a bit complicated. When on the end of the um, series of videos, I'm going to tell you how to have a little work through these and work out what's going to be right for you as well. So that's worth watching at the end. So we go back to fat. Now fat has a very unique fact of its own. And the fact is that a gram of fat has over twice the calories of a gram of carbohydrate or protein. So that's why we need to moderate how much fat we have. It's just because it's so calorie dense. And again, fat makes food taste good so it's it's something that we like to eat as well so we have to be careful about how much of it we're gonna eat so we're talking about fats you know butter olive oil coconut oil avocado is quite fatty we've got fats in nuts again we have i'm not going to go too much into saturated polyunsaturated monounsaturated fats but if you want to get in touch with me we can talk about that a bit more and we have one other macronutrient that has its own unique property, alcohol. Alcohol is somewhere between fat and protein and carbohydrates. So one gram of alcohol has seven calories per gram. So 
it's in between fat at nine, protein and carbohydrates at four. So that's why drink too much, you put weight on. It's quite simply because it's easy to ingest a load of calories through alcohol. Um, I hope that's helped you out a little bit and tell you what the macronutrients are and what their roles are in your body. I didn't tell you, fat's, fat's job is, fat has a job of, um, there are some vitamins and minerals that are only fat soluble. So we need fat, fat is, makes all your cell membranes, fat transports vitamins and minerals around the body. So it is important to have some dietary fat. When it comes to the ratios of these, we're looking, different people tolerate different ratios of protein, fats, and carbohydrates. Some people can eat carbohydrate till it comes out their ear, feel great. Some people have carbohydrate, it makes them feel sleepy. And this is why we can't just say, here is one diet that will suit you. Quite simply, for me, I work out how much protein somebody needs, depending on their dietary requirements at the moment. The calories that are left from fat and carbohydrate, I put them in half. Give them, the, give them them in whatever grams that turns out to be, and then start manipulating them on how that makes them feel. So that might be something that's worth looking at. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna look at some of the vitamins and minerals and what they do, and some of the trace elements, what they do to your body as well. Thank you.